Hi, it's Claire. So today I'm going to show you how to make uh, make these really sweet and delicate uh, little connectors that you can see. So I've used this one as an earring. Uh, it's a really versatile little component, so you can use it in um, in all of your wire work really. So I've used it with the the connectors that come in the kit, uh, and I've added in my wrap loops for the gemstones on here as well. So you can see, and it's entirely up to you how many you make because they're quite delicate as well. So you can make quite a few of them and it's still um, overall quite a delicate looking piece of jewellery. So you can see I've got four there on, on the necklace. And the lovely thing with these is they make great connectors because you've got so many um, so many hanging points there with the little loops that we're going to make. OK, so our starting point is <clears throat> you'll need the, uh, the 0.6 wire that's in the kit. Which is, uh, which is really, really good for this because we want some structure to it, but also uh, to be able to do uh, a bit of weaving and wrapping as well. So I've got my 0.6 and then I also want some scrap wire. Um, so these are going to be my base wires that we're going to remove. Uh, so they won't be part of the actual finish, finish connector, but we'll use these as, um, as a guide so that we get a nice uniform result. So I've got, um, I'm using here, so this is a, a 0. Point, sorry, 1.25 mil so it's, it's quite a structural heavy gauge um, you could do it with a one mil if you wanted to uh, I wouldn't go any lower than a one mil so these are our, so I've cut three um, a length of um, of those so I've got three lots of my sort of my scrap base wires there and they're probably about 10 centimeters or so so I'm going to take my 0 0.6 and I can leave this on the reel so I'm just going to straighten that out so we don't need to cut anything because we're just going to get, do a continuous weave onto the base base wires. So again when you're starting out so that it's nice and neat get these base wires so that they're no kinks and straight and that will just help you to get a neater overall finish. So I'm starting off so I'm going to leave a bit of a tail probably got about an inch there or so and I'm going to pick up my first base wire okay and I've put the 0 0.6 so I'm coming behind my base wire I'm going to start to just wrap around so I'm going to do two quite tight wraps around that base wire. I lift up my next base wire and pop that alongside. And this time I'm going to go over and in between and push it together all the way back in front towards me and back in between. So I've done a full wrap around this second base wire but I'm back to the beginning now and this wire is back pointing towards me. So I'm going to pick up my third, my last base wire and pop that so it's sitting next to it. And this time I'm going to go over, this time I'm going to go over two, all the way around and wrap fully around that third base wire and bring it to the back and then back down towards me. And I come over in between this one and this one and then wrap back towards me around that middle wire and go all the way to the back and then back towards me. So we've finished the one section there, so we've gone up and down. So I'm gonna space that out and I'm gonna do two wraps there, one and two. And you can see I'm pushing them really close to each other. So you can see it's gonna give me that look. So I'll do that group again. So this is, this is a one, um, sort of one section of it. So again, so I'm gonna go over to the back and wrap fully around that middle wire all the way back and back to the start towards me. I'm going to wrap over the two wires, come through in between and wrap fully around that third wire all the way to the back and then back towards me. And then I come up and over in between those two all the way back and wrap fully around this middle wire, back towards me, and then two to separate it out. So you can see, also going up in triangles. So what you wanna to do to, um, to create the connectors, you can do as many as you want, but to give you a connector like I've done here, so if we have a look at this one at the bracelet, I've got six high points. So the high points are where it hits that top wire here. So I've got six of those. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see I've done that there and I've cut off at the reel here. So again, I'm gonna snip off here 
and I'm going to snip off here. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to get rid of some of these base wires. So I'm going to grip and pull that out. So if you have a look at it now, what you've got is you've got, where we've gone all the way around the wire, we've got a nice loop there. So we're going to turn these, so I've got my chain nose pliers, so I'm just going to turn and twist so that they're facing me. And again, twist. So I'm twisting all those wires. So what that will do is that will, it's going to make it look slightly different, but it's also going to tighten it onto the, the base, the structural wires. So it might mean that this second one that we try and pull out now could be a little bit tougher. So just give it a little bit of a wiggle and pull that out. And in the same way, so we're going to go in, separate out, and turn that. So we're going to keep turning all these. So we go along. You can see this is what gives you that little, that filigree look, that really delicate look of wire work. And because you've gone around the base wires, what, what that does is that means that it's very, very uniform. So it's lovely and neat as well. So you can see I'm just turning out all of these. So again, by turning out these loops, it will mean that it's going to be a little bit tighter. The wire work will be a little bit tighter on that last base wire. So if you find, if you're sort of like a bit of troubleshooting now, if you found that it was a bit too tough to pull out, so you're pulling out like this and nothing was happening, what you could do is you could separate out. So if I just sort of separate that out and you can go in and snip and cut that base wire if you need to and then you'd be pulling out this side and pulling out that side but you need to be very very careful that you're just cutting the base wire and not your 0.6 okay so let's pull that out give that a little bit of a wiggle I'm just supporting it there and it's going to come out as that filigree piece here so that what we want to do now is want to make this into a into a round circle so again so I'm going to take some of my 0.6 some of that off there. So I'm just going to again straighten that out. So you could use a 0.4 if you wanted to with this but because I know that I've used so the base wires that I've worked with are 0.25 so I know I can get two lots of my 0.6 just about through. So the other thing that I need to think about is I'm going to snip some of these off because I don't want at either end. If you remember the little space that we'd given in between these groups of the three loops we've done two wraps here so I don't want to have two wraps here and two wraps there because when I join them up that'll mean that's four four wraps so I'm just going to get rid of one of those and one of those from either side so I've now got one here and one here so when they join we'll have two and it'll match up because otherwise it's, you're going to see you're going to have too big a gap okay so I've just fed that through I'm going to take the other end and I'm going to feed this through. So just take your time with this. Just take your time so it's going to feed all the way back through until it pops out the other end. So you can see there, that's come through there. So what you might need to do, if I just take my pliers now, so I'm going to hold onto that end and hold onto this end, just so until it comes through. And then start to shape it a little bit. So pulling it through so that we want that to go around. So again, when it's like this, you can sort of encourage it around. So it's there, you can see. So we, we, if we'd have left the two um, loops either end, we'd have had four there and it just would have looked very, very bulky and it wouldn't have sat and it wouldn't have been even. So I'm going to pull that really nice and tight. Cut off a little bit there. And bring that in. So I'm going to get rid of that bit. I'm going to turn it round and again I'm just going to bring this through so you're almost just not quite tying a knot but just adding in that that coil and really going in and snipping neatly so that you can't see it and just curve that in okay so what you what you'll need to do then we've got a little bit of bulk there but we'll just give that a squeeze so what we need to do now is we're just going to go along and just reposition these just so that it looks a little bit more even to cover up the join. So I'm going to bring these out. So again, you can see I'm just supporting the, the shape in between this thumb here and my finger and bringing these around. 
So you can go around, neaten that up, space them out as you go. You can see that's giving you that lovely connector there. And you can see what I've done. So all I've done on some of them is you make the most of those the little loops that you've got. So I've added in some wrap loops with the gemstones and then jump rings and I did the connector there. So you can see how versatile that little connector is. And I mean, it's gonna look very, very different depending on how many base wires you do. So if you uh, do more of the, the base wires here, you'd have higher, higher sort of uh, triangles of, um, of your loops here going up. Um, and also if you, so I'd done six, if you did five, that would give you a, a very, very different look as well. So you can see it's a really lovely, lovely piece of wire work. And what makes it really, really good is because you're working on the base wires, so you know it's gonna be really, really neat and uniform. So it's a ni nice project to work on. So there we go.